KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Now that the examination for deputy architect of CPWD, which is which has been conducted by the Union Public Service Commission for the 53 post. Now that the exam is completed, it is very important for us to know about the timeline moving ahead. So in that context, this will be an important video for you in which uh, we will mainly focus on our discussion around three points. The first one is a general feedback with respect to the examination which was con 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 uh, conducted recently for the deputy architect examination student feedback the second important area we will be discussing in this short video is with respect to the timeline moving ahead uh, with respect to when to expect the based on the past data based on the past examinations by UPSC uh, for architects and uh, for particularly architects we will be focusing uh, or discuss about the brief timeline of these steps like when is the expected time for the result and the interview and how is it going to be moving further and thirdly we will also have a discussion with respect to the cutoff now it is very difficult to have an idea on the expected cutoff but uh, we will uh, come up with a discovery we'll, in this short video we will have a discussion of the past cutoff of the examination for which the information is available so that's going to be the um, content of this short video but even before I, I start discussing about these three points uh, let me also tell you that the official answer key for the UPSC is generally not released so uh, it is sometimes released sometimes it's not publicly released like for example the 2023 examination which was conducted the last year's examination which was conducted for the post of assistant architect the official answer key is not yet released even till now so uh, it's very uh, sometimes they might release all also, so it is very uh, unclear with respect to if we will get an official uh, answer key for the test or not. Meanwhile, what you can do, we have already compiled a preliminary answer key. We at KP Gate classes have uh, compiled a preliminary answer key of this particular examination. You can find the link of it in the description of this video. Make sure you cross check your answers with that answer key and you can also participate in the poll. There's a link for the form in which you can fill your marks and you will get an update with respect to the expected cutoff once we collect sufficient information with regard to the score of candidates. Now, uh, it will help you have a brief idea on what to expect moving further uh, so let us start our discussion with respect to the details of the examination as far as the level of the examination is considered general student feedback is that it is slightly easier compared to the 2023 paper however it is difficult than the 2015 and 2016 question paper that's a general feedback which we have got from our students uh, till now you can also put out your thoughts in the chat of, of the uh, chat option of this particular video too uh, so even the cutoff is also expected to be similar slightly higher than what it was in 2018 and 2023 uh, and also slightly lower than what it was in uh, 2015 or 2016 probably but again the cutoff does depend on the competition number of candidates appearing for the test and many other factors so it would be best to wait for some time so that we have sufficient inputs participate in the, uh, the link click the link uh, for the form participate in the poll so that you also have a better understanding on what to expect moving further uh, as far as the timeline of it is considered uh, so let us try to understand what was the timeline the last time uh, the exam was conducted by UPSC so the last time that is 2022 there was an advertisement for the post of assistant architects there were a total of 13 posts now generally this time it is 53 posts generally when the number of posts is higher the number of applicants also tend to be higher because many people uh, because with an increased number of posts many people do apply for the post as well so it is expected to be slightly more competitive than last time for the 13 posts last uh, year the, uh, the advertisement was released in 2022 however the examination was conducted on 19th of August 2023 so around this time last year examination was conducted and for this particular exam which was it was also similar to our examination 120 questions 300 marks exam with a similar weightage distribution of 75% for the examination 25% for the interview everything was same even the syllabus was same the last year too so 19th of August the exam was conducted and so let me just write over August 2023 that was the date of the examination the written test examinations result was uh, not the final result but the result of the test requirement test that was announced in the month of September of 2023 approximately in one month of time 
so even that even this year you might expect the same thing around one and one month or so within one month you can expect to get a result of the requirement test in which basically they will publish a list of the selected candidates uh, the, uh, sometimes they also publish the score of all the unselected candidates also on the website but that generally takes time the initial result they will just announce the list of the selected qualified candidates of the of the written test and general uh, understanding is they are expected to select approximately three or four times higher than the number of posts so because there are 53 posts this time it's expected to, uh, uh, to uh, it, uh, UPSC is probably going to shortlist somewhere around 160 plus candidates around 200 probably 160 200 candidates probably will be shortlisted for the interview round generally it is four times so considering four times it will be approximately 200 candidates who will be uh, tentatively qualified from the result written test and then qualify for the interview however last time that is 2023 approximately one month then the, there was a written test and uh, the time duration for interview somehow was increased uh, could be due to multiple factors but they, uh, the interview was held in the month of May uh, of this year 2024 so May of 2024 was the interview which was conducted so that was the timeline last time approximately one month for the result of the written test and approximately uh, say eight months seven to eight months for the interview but uh, that's not always the case last time it was higher uh, but probably the interview could be anywhere between five to six months after the result. Now, uh, it is very important also to focus on the portfolio preparation for these remaining five to six months. We will have a discussion of that moving ahead. So this was the timeline last time though 2022 or the 2023 examination, the exact cutoff of this uh, last year's uh, uh, cutoff was not published on the website of UPSC, uh, but from a past students, it is generally uh, so the approximate uh, say the cutoff probably is expect was expected to be around 120 marks out of 300 for the return test approximately that was the cutoff uh, uh, however that's not an official number unofficially from a past students with the discussions with selected candidates we uh, it is it was expected around 120 the cutoff for the return test uh, to be selected for the interview round that was uh, it for the 2023 post so however let us also let us discuss on the information which is published on the website of uh, UPSC like I told you sometimes they do publish like 2015-2016 examination uh, the examination which was conducted in the year 2016 uh, that is published on the website of UPSC regarding cutoff let us have a look at the information of the cutoff but I told you the exam paper was uh, relatively easier in 2016 so probably that could be the reason for a increased level of cutoff which was 154 but that said the number of candidates who attended for that test was less this time it is expected to be much higher the level of competition so considering that probably the cutoff uh, can somewhere be around the same number of anywhere ranging from 140 to 150 however this is very very primitive stage to have a guess at the cutoff participate in the poll so that we can have a more educated understanding of what the cutoff can be you will also receive an update once you fill that form with respect to the cutoff so uh, if you have a look at this 2026 2016 uh, examination uh, the number of candidates so it was an exam for 13 posts of deputy architect actually in the year 2016 there was a common examination for deputy 13 posts of deputy architects and also around 22 or 23 posts of assistant architect also it was a common examination uh, for both the post assistant and deputy architect posts so as far as the deputy architect post is considered uh, there are the total applications of 1846 of these uh, 1800 applications there were a uh, total of 13 posts or 13 openings like I told you as soon as the qualifying marks for the requirement test was considered it was 154 for the unreserved category you can have a look at the information for the cutoff of the other categories like 143 for OBC 124 for SE 114 for ST and 77 for the physically handicapped quota and uh, as far as the qualifying marks for the interview so it's it's this way 300 marks is the marks for the requirement test even this year it is same 100 marks will be the weightage for the interview the total of uh, marks 
the total marking would be done out of 400 marks uh, basically with 75 percent weightage given to the requirement test like 300 out of 400 is for the requirement test and the cutoff in 2016 was 154 for the deputy architect post and for the interview the cutoff of general category was 50 marks so the final selection the last uh, score which was selected finally was 226 out of 400 marks so if you are not not just qualifying the requirement test but if you're having a good score that will really be beneficial for you to push your fi uh, final score uh, irrespective of how your interview goes so you can have a relatively less level of uh, uh, say thought with respect to how to uh, so to worry with respect to interview however interview in itself you will need to qualify and you will need to do it very good with a very good portfolio and very good understanding of the concepts of architecture too uh, we'll have and discussion sometime with respect to the interview all as well so that was about it in 2016 as far as the highest math they also published the score of the highest scoring candidate the highest scoring candidate it was 263 that was the highest marks in the year so probably that includes both the interview and the requirement test both together it for it was probably 263 the highest score out of 400 it is in 2016 However, the number of, even though paper was relatively easier, the total number of candidates was low. This time it is expected to be much higher. So competitiveness also you'll need to take into consideration in order to know what will be the highest or what will be the selection score uh, of this year as well. So if you look into the, sim similarly, if you look into the one post of assistant architect, just like the deputy architect, there was one post of assistant architect in the uh, Department of Health and Family Welfare and there were a total of 22 assistant architect posts in CPWD as so in different departments for the single post of assistant architect there were a total applications of 713 uh, that was a single post of general category and the requirement test because it was only one person the final selection itself is the highest score that is 206 out of 400 and the person scored 142 in the requirement test out of 300 142 out of 300 was the selection for this single post if you look into the 22 posts of assistant architect in cpwd of the same year 2016 the same examination which was conducted in the january of 2016 the total number of candidates because there is increased number of posts the number of candidates also is a bit higher 1521 candidates applied of which there are 10 posts for the general category uh, so uh, total of 21 posts uh, 22 posts because one I think was the uh, was for physically handicapped quota too and uh, if you look into the uh, requirement as the cutoff the minimum score was 142 it was the same over here you can see right uh, so it was 154 for the deputy architect post the same exam and it was 142 for the candidates who applied for the assistant architect post interview it was 50 the final selection cutoff was 203 and the topper highest score was 233 so you see the topper final selection the highest score out of 400 was 233 233 out of 400 that was the highest or the topper score and the final selection the person who got the final selection of these 22 posts that was 203 out of 400 so you see that all the 22 candidates are spread within these 30 marks of distribution now uh, within those 30 marks all the uh, 22 candidates scored and this year that distribution is expected to be much narrower the reason being uh, the questions uh, so 40 percent of the question paper you can say probably out of 120 questions approximately 40 percent of the questions are those which are more straightforward uh, from the basic understanding of the concepts of architecture itself 30 to 40 percent straightforward questions now that gives a, a major push to the number of candidates to reach that level of 120 or 120 plus so uh, even though the cutoff is expected now a vague understanding considering all the factors of the level of the question paper number of candidates the competition cutoff probably is expected to be around 140 or 130 this year in the requirement test and again at the same time the number of posts also are higher so anywhere between 130 or 140 however to have a better understanding we need to collect the data with which we are in the process of collecting uh, participate in the poll to get us get a better information regarding this and we'll share you the information also with respect to the qualifying marks uh, once we have sufficient number of uh, polls or sufficient number of inputs we will be able to publish our expected cutoff and we'll share you that data as well uh, finally let us have a quick look at the uh, 2018 examination 
publication actually the advertisement was published in 2018 the exam was conducted in the year 2019 for the seven posts of uh, deputy architect and military engineering services a total of for these seven posts uh, for the seven posts a total of 719 candidates applied of which the cutoff mark for the requirement test was 117 out of 300 and the cutoff for the interview was 50 out of 300 uh, actually the cutoff for the interview part uh, that is pro uh, probably fixed at 50 percent for the general category so this is actually 50 out of 100 and uh, the total final selection cutoff was 188 out of 400 that was about 2018 2019 question paper where the question paper was relatively tough compared to this year so probably this year's cutoff would uh, move further than this particular 188 Again, I told you the reason, we considering the number of candidates and posts, this is expected to be higher slightly. Uh, other than that, the topper, the top score of 2019 examination of UPSC for military engineering services was 193 out of 400, including the marks of the interview. So probably the score of the person in the return test was much lower, probably 130 or so also. Now, uh, so that was about the information which is officially available. I talked about the officially available information of 2016 and 2019. I also had a brief discussion of the unofficial information or dis uh, discussion with past students with respect to 2023. Also, we had a discussion with respect to this. And I also have, gave you a brief idea on the timeline with respect to the ex ex examination and also an idea on how the cutoff can be this year considering all the factors. But to have a better understanding of the cutoff, make sure you cross check your answers. Now that the official answer key is most likely not to be announced like last year, it is not yet announced like I told you. You can cross check with this preliminary answer key and do remember that this is just a preliminary answer key. You can expect a plus or minus 3 to 5 marks probably probably a variation of it uh, or three would uh, you can expect approximately a variation of plus or minus three marks you can consider once you cross check with this answer key the score can be high, higher or lower approximately by three marks and it can be slightly even more higher if there are any questions which UPSC considers to be marks to all due to some error. So that's a brief understanding. Now remember the uh, last point with respect to interview which can be anywhere between four to five months from now or even earlier than that. Make sure you work on your portfolio. If you feel that your marks are good enough to qualify for the interview, you should start preparing a good, inter a good, a good portfolio for your interview which showcases your best work of whatever you have done in your past experience um, so if, if you don't have an experience in that case what projects of your academic uh, work you should be putting into the portfolio you need to work on that uh, because in the interview it's not knowledge which they will mainly check because you have already if you have cleared the examination it is given that you have cleared a competitive test and you have good knowledge they are going to mainly focus on understanding your uh, uh, your attitude or your uh, say uh, uh, the confidence you have during the interview these are the main points they are going to check so work on those friends uh, groom yourself uh, in that area and have a good portfolio to have a better confidence I hope that was helpful for you uh, further information with respect to answer keys available in the description of this video. Thank you everyone.